Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to explain one of the parts that is a little more complicated in SAP financial accounting, which is parallel accounting, or SAP's ability to report the financial statements of the company according to different accounting standards, such as IFRS and GAAP, at the same time. I remember having a lot of difficulties understanding this concept when I first started working with SAP, but hopefully, by the end of this video, it will be very simple for you. So by the end of the video, you should completely understand the concept behind the parallel accounting in SAP, and you should also know the two available approaches in the system, and I will also try to demonstrate something uh, on the system to simplify the topic more. Let me start explaining this by answering some very common questions. Question number one, what is the meaning of accounting principle in SAP? Accounting principle is the accounting standard, such as international financial reporting standards, IFRS, or generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP. And as you know, any company has to report the financial transactions and the financial statements according to the accounting standards. And in some cases, the company may be requested to provide the financial statements in two or more accounting standards. So this is the second question. Why would a company ask for more than one accounting standard? There are many cases that you will see, you will see in your projects, but the number one, this is a requirement from the customer. So don't try to offer it. The customer has to request that they need more than one accounting standard. The second thing is, uh, there are many cases, but usually one of the most common cases is if you are working for a company that belongs to a group. So for example, if this is a local branch of an international company, then the, the company usually requests that they have more than one accounting principle. One accounting principle for the local reporting for the country, and the second is for the uh, group reporting. So for example, if your country requests that you report your financial statements according to GAAP, but the group is requesting IFRS, then in this case, you will have to use parallel accounting. Now, third question, how do we report our financial statements in SAP? We create something that we call a financial statement version. In simple terms, this is a drawing of the financial statements. So I will go to a screen, and I will start drawing how I want my financial statement to look like. So for example, for balance sheet, I will put a text, which is assets. Then below assets, I will have uh, like uh, current assets. And then I will have cash. And in the line of cash, I'm going to assign some general ledger accounts. And this is my balance sheet. So I will start drawing the balance sheet as I want. I have complete control. Uh, over what accounts to assign where and what is the text I want to show and I also can decide that some accounts will not be displayed in my financial statement but of course these accounts ha uh, must have the balance of zero together. So this is called a financial statement version and when you, drip, when you uh, run the report for the financial statement SAP will ask you to choose your financial statement version which is your drawing of the financial statement so when you choose it SAP is going to create the financial statement according to your template so you will have assets then current assets then uh, cash and next to cash you will have the total balance of the cash uh, accounts that you assign to this line. So this is how we report our financial statements. Let's take an example to understand parallel accounting. One of the differences between uh, GAAP and IFRS is, for example, the R&D expenses. When we spend some research and development expenses to develop a new product, according to GAAP, these are expenses, but according to IFRS, they are assets. So if I have one of these transactions, then I will have to report it in two ways. So for example, let's say that this month uh, we have 10,000 USD of R&D expenses and our company is requested to provide financial statements according to GAAP for local uh, standards and IFRS for international group. So the primary way of reporting is our local, which is GAAP, and the supplementary or the one that I will have to adjust to is IFRS. So now when I have this transaction, first I'm going to post debit to an expense according to GAAP because this is my primary, uh, my, prim my primary accounting standard. So I'm going to post debit to an expense and credit to cash. Now how do I adjust this 
to the IFRS uh, financial standards. SAP has two approaches. Approach number one is account approach, and the second is ledger approach. Let's talk about each of them. So according to the account approach, after I already posted the gap financial entry, which is debit expense and the credit cash, I am going to create two additional accounts for IFRS adjustment. This is why it's called the account approach. The first account I'm going to call, for example, exp IFRS expense adjustment. And the second account I'm going to call uh, IFRS asset adjustment. The first one is uh, PNL is an expense account and the second is a uh, balance sheet account. Now I'm going to post a financial entry to adjust the gap entry into IFRS. So the entry will be debit to asset and the credit to expense adjustment. So now you see the whole picture. In PNL, I will have debit to expense and I will have credit to expense adjustment, so zero. And in assets, in balance sheet, I will have assets of 1,000 and the cash of negative 1,000 or negative 10,000. So now I have reported according to IFRS. But when I generate my financial statements, I will create two financial statement versions. The first one for GAP, it will not include the IFRS adjustment accounts. It will only include the cash and the expense. It will not include the adjustments. So when I report the financial statements based on GAP, it will include the GAP financial entries without any adjustment. And I will create another financial statement version for IFRS, which will include all the accounts from GAP plus the adjustment accounts. So now when I report according to GAP, I'm going to use the financial statement version for GAP. It will show me only the accounts that I want because I have complete freedom over what accounts to show. Uh, the, the accounts I want and it will show me the report according to GAP. And when I report for IFRS, I'm going to use the financial statement version for IFRS. So this is the account approach. This is the first one. We create adjustment accounts. We have one ledger and we have to create more than one financial statement version, one for every accounting standard. Now let's talk about the second approach, which is the ledger approach. Let's go back to our example. According to the ledger approach, when you are posting the financial entry, you can choose which ledger you want to post to. And I'm going to have two ledgers, one ledger for GAP and one ledger for IFRS. What is the meaning of a ledger? In very simple terms, a ledger is a primary key that we will add to any financial entry to choose whether this financial entry belongs to GAP or it belongs to IFRS. And in case we post any financial entry without specifying a ledger, it will go to both of them. And this is the normal case. So for example, any expenses for any postings that are the same in IFRS and GAP, I'm going to post without specifying a ledger. So it will go to both of them. But then when I come to the R and D expense posting, I'm going to stop and I'm going to record two financial entries, one entry for every ledger specifically. So I will post one entry with the ledger of GAP. This entry will be debit expense and the credit cash. And this will only be in GAP. It will not go to IFRS at all. And then I'm going to post another entry that is specific to the ledger of IFRS. And this will show debit assets and the credit cash. And when I report my financial statements, I can use the same financial statement version and I will have to select which accounting standard or which ledger I want to report on. So if I choose the ledger of GAP, it will show me the financial entries for GAP, along with the other, the other financial entries that are shared between both of them, of course. And if I report on IFRS, it will show me all the common entries plus the entries for IFRS alone. So this way I am able to report the financial statements in IFRS and the GAP without doing a lot of effort. So these are the two approaches, account approach and ledger approach. Account approach, you will have to create more than one financial statement version, but you can only use one ledger. You don't need multiple ledgers and you will have to create some adjustment accounts. In approach number two, which is the ledger approach, you need to have one ledger for every accounting standard. So in our case, it will be two ledgers. You don't need adjustment accounts and you, uh, you don't need more than one financial statement version. You can only use one for both of them. Generally speaking, I always try to avoid working with the ledger approach because when you, uh, when you choose to go with the ledger approach, it adds a lot of complexity to the system. 
uh, with all the automatic postings and everything that's integrated into the system, you will have to choose whether it goes to this ledger or this, and it is very complicated. But of course, sometimes you have to use it. But what I try to do is always I try to use the account approach first. If it doesn't work, then I will go to the ledger approach. Now I'm going to go to the system and I'm going to show you how to post uh, an entry to uh, each ledger and how to create a financial statement version. And I'll try to simplify the topic more. So how do we generate financial statements in SAP? The transaction is F.01 financial statements and you have to choose the financial statement version. So for me, this will be 17, 20. And you also have to choose the company code, which you are, you are reporting on, which is 1710 for me. And as you see, you can also choose a ledger. So in case you are using the ledger approach, you can choose which ledger you are going to report on. For now, I'm going to leave this empty. If you leave it empty when you are using parallel ledger, then you are going to report on your primary accounting standard or the leading ledger, which in our example was GAP. Uh, so I'm going to leave it empty for now and you also choose the period and so and then you run the report So this will show you the financial statements you have uh, This is the drawing that I told you about. This is my financial statement version I'm going to show you how to edit this financial statement version now uh, Now it only shows the accounts that have balances so not zero But if you want to show all the accounts you can go to special valuation Accounts with the, the zero balance this one and execute again So this is the full thing that we uh, created in our financial statement version So I have this text asset then cash and cash equivalent then I have some accounts then I have a total then I have, I have some other accounts and so on It goes on. Okay, so how can I check or edit the financial statement version? If you go to any general ledger master data account, this is the easiest way. So if you go to FS00 and you open any account, let's go to our company code 1710 and choose an account. So if you choose any account, you can go to edit financial statement version here. And then you choose which financial statement version you want to edit because you can have multiple ones based on uh, the accounting standards, for example. And then you click on OK. And this is our financial statement version. This is the same report that I just generated. This is how we actually customize this report. So if I close this, for example. So here I have an, a text which is asset. You can actually edit this. So this is something that we create ourselves. So we have asset, then we have, see this, we have two lines, like two, like these lines after assets. This is the same thing you can see in the report. Then we have another line, which is cash and the cash equivalent. Then we have petty cash, under petty cash, you have these accounts assigned. So if you double click here, this is the text. And you can also double click here. These are the accounts assigned to this line. So you have complete freedom over what accounts to show and where these accounts will appear. So if you, for, if you have two financial statement versions, one for GAAP and one for IFRS, you can choose that the adjustment accounts for IFRS do not appear in GAAP, but only appear in the IFRS financial statement version. So this is how we edit the financial statement version. If you would like to create a new financial statement version, you can always do so in configuration. You can find it under, let's go to configuration. You can find it under financial accounting, general ledger accounting. I think it is in information system. No, master data, sorry, GL accounts. Define financial statement versions here. So here you can create a new financial statement version from scratch, or you can choose one and copy it. Okay, now let's go back. So second thing, how can I post a financial, uh, a financial transaction to a specific ledger? If I have two ledgers, if I go with the ledger approach and I want to post a transaction only to GAAP or only to IFRS, how can I do this? The transaction is FB50L, FB50L. Uh, 
And you can also find it here under accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, FB50L, enter GL account document for ledger group. So we create ledger groups to group multiple ledgers, but you can create one group for every accounting standard if you want. So in my example, I will have one ledger group for GAP, one ledger group for IFRS. Now, when I post the transaction, I can choose that I'm posting to which ledger group. So in my example, I have two. The first one is 0L and the second one is 2L. So if I choose a specific ledger, if I post to a specific ledger, it only goes to this ledger. So if I choose IFRS, it will go only to IFRS. If I choose GAP, it will go only to GAP. If I leave this empty, if I don't mention anything, then it will go to both of them. Okay, so after you put the ledger, you can choose what financial entry you want to make and you can post it. And then when you uh, generate the financial statement report, this one, when you generate the financial statements report, you choose which ledger you want to display and uh, you want to report based on. So this is how you edit the financial statement version. And this is how you can uh, create, uh, post a financial entry to ledger specific. I know this video is not very detailed because the topic of parallel accounting is too big. Uh, if we go into the details of assets and the realistic scenarios, it can be very complicated. But hopefully by now you understand the basic concept of the uh, parallel accounting and you understand the difference between the account approach and the ledger approach. Uh, I tried to make this as simple as I can. I uh, hope this was easy and useful to everyone. If you like this video, please share it with others. Leave me your comments as usual. Uh, don't forget to interact with me on LinkedIn and on YouTube. Leave me any questions you have. If you have any suggestions for the video or if you have any questions about anything that I explained or if you have any, any uh, suggestions on what I should record in the future, then please send me a message or leave me a comment on YouTube. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Stay safe.